It's strike two for the Boise Co-op on the heels of the largest salmonella outbreak in our state's history. A health inspection turns up more violations. Kelsey McFarland joins us live in Boise with some insight on how this could have happened. She's watching out for you. Just weeks after the Boise Co-op shut down their deli due to a salmonella outbreak and the market shows it still has some work to do. Inspectors found the deli had expired meat in its coolers, food from the salad bar stored at the wrong temperatures, and a pair of dirty gloves found leaning on a clean cutting board. After the first incident, you would have thought they would have bent over backwards to not let this happen a second time. How could this happen again? Well, like I said, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of perplexing to us, too, why we did send a lot of people to uh, serve safe, and we've trained our deli staff, but there's still maybe a few kinks in the system to where we're trying to repair old habits. The manager says they'll have to double their efforts again in order to regain customers' trust. Our goal is to not ever let this happen again. Restaurants can get busy during their rush times, and, and when we all get busy in daily life, sometimes we take shortcuts. But um, us going in and, and talking with them and, and looking for those potential violations, it's a reminder and it can really be a wake-up call for a lot of food establishments. Now, those three violations are considered critical on the health department's checklist. Those violations were fixed on the spot while inspectors were still on site. Live in Boise, Kelsey McFarland, KBY2 News. Thank you, Kelsey.